In this video, I'm going to machine one of these. This is a bracket to mount a, an IKEA lamp, also known as a double boost lamp, to a Noga um, Popeye magnet. And in fact, I'm using one right now to light this. I'm going to start with a solid block of aluminum and run through all the tool changes and mill it all out. Start by putting it in the vise. Got a stop here. That's the stop. Let's make sure it's down. Parallels are tight. First tool is a two inch carbide end mill with polished uh, inserts for milling aluminum. Put that in and torque it down so it doesn't pull out. All right, we'll start by facing off the top. Next tool is a two flute quarter inch uh, polished end mill. We'll torque it down too. Now the first move this makes is a real pucker move. It hits just right for the vice jaw very rapidly, but it stops and it cuts the part and we don't break the tool, so. Okay, that was the quarter inch end mill. Next tool is a 3 16 inch end mill to bore some deeper holes. Okay, then the last tool for this side of the part is a 45 degree chamfer mill. It's not actually a chamfer mill, it's actually a half inch 90 degree spotting drill, but it's about a third of the cost and works just as well.
Okay, that's one side of the part complete. Now we just have to flip it over. Repositioning the part is easy because I actually have a mill stop here. And this cut surface will go against the mill stop. down against the vise, about against the parallels. Parallels are tight. Okay, on this side, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the... We're going to face off the stock that we used to hold it in the vise while we machine the other side. We get this face mill torqued so it doesn't pull out. That would be a bad day. Okay, that makes a huge mess. But it makes short work of a lot of material. And we're back to the quarter inch end mill. Okay, the next tool is the 3 16 end mill again to bore some more holes. Torque down the collet so the tool doesn't fall out.
last tool is the chamfer mill again. Take off the burrs and put some nice chamfers on it. It. Let me get the tool out of the way because I have cut myself more than once reaching under a tool. Okay. Pop the little paper thin piece of metal out of the bottom of this hole. And there it is. Beautiful surface finish. And it just needs a little bit of deburring just there and around this edge where we didn't have any chamfers. Other than that, it's ready to go. To deburr this, I just use one of these little Noga deburring tools. It's a very shallow lip, so you have to have a very fine point tool to do this. This tool does it fine. And I got a little burr down in here that I'd like to get rid of. And a perfect tool for that. This tool will reach through from the other side and take that off. I'll do the same thing on these. Yeah.